what next for Israel? They don't stop working here. Even now, they continue working hard on making the Pragyan rover go around with all of the uh, exploration that it's doing. The next 14 days is going to be crucial. They've already set their eyes on the next mission, which is Aditya L1. L1 stands for a zone that goes around the sun. It's right at the center point, and the reason that's been chosen is so that no eclipse or anything can really bar the sun's view. Aditya L1, according to Israel, is something they're focusing on from early September, just a few weeks away. And that's how busy our Israel scientists are. In our next report, I'm going to run you through all of the upcoming missions, the upcoming exciting work and projects from Israel. In weeks, ISRO prepares to launch its ambitious Aditya L1, the mission to the sun. This is the first space-based observatory class Indian solar mission to study the sun. The spacecraft would be placed in a halo orbit around Lagrangian Point 1 or L1 of the Sun-Earth system. About 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth, Aditya L1 is set to continuously view the sun without any occultation or eclipse. At an approximate cost of 378 crore rupees, Aditya L1 would be the first spatially resolved solar disk in the near UV band. Around January of 2024, a low-Earth orbit observatory is all set to be jointly developed by NASA and ISRO at an approximate cost of 12,000 300 crore rupees. It's called Nisar. It will map the entire globe in 12 days, provide spatially and temporally consistent data for understanding changes in Earth's ecosystems, ice mass, vegetation biomass, sea level rise, groundwater and natural hazards including earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes and landslides. In the third quarter of 2024 SPADEX or space docking experiment at an estimated cost of 124 crore rupees is scheduled to be launched. It will be a twin spacecraft mission. Space docking experiment is being developed by ISRO to mature technologies related to orbital rendezvous, docking, formation, flying and other proximity operations. This will create scope of applications in human spaceflight in-space satellite servicing and other proximity operations. The Mars Orbiter mission, Mangalyaan-2, is all set to be launched in 2024. It will reportedly include a hyperspectral camera, a high-resolution panchromatic camera and a radar to understand early Martian crust, recent basalts and boulder falls. And finally, by the end of 2024 to the beginning of 2025, ISRO will launch its first manned mission, Gaganyaan. Series of test flights have already started. Gaganyaan module will carry Indian astronauts into orbit for three days. The Indian Space Agency has shortlisted four candidates to go on this mission. They have already undergone initial training in Russia. Now they are undergoing future training at the newly opened astronaut training facility in Bengaluru.